Hey guys, how's it going? You probably realize today's episode is going to be a little bit different than usual. And let me tell you why. So recently, I found out I've been listening to things a little bit louder. I mean, my music's gone a little bit up, TV, just for no reason. And I decided to go to the doctors to see what's going on. So, just heading over to my family doctor for my appointment, see what's going on with my hair. Hopefully it's nothing, but I'll keep you guys posted. Hey Fez, how's it going? What's the reason for your visit today? Hey Doc, I've been having issues with my hair. I feel like I can't hear at the same volume as I could before. It just needs to be louder now. Hmm, okay. Uh, you're a mechanic, right? So you're probably um, exposed to an environment that's pretty loud. Um, on a regular basis. Uh, have you heard of noise-induced hearing loss? You know, if you're exposed to over 85 decibels of sound, you can risk losing your hearing permanently. Let me kind of take you through my day. Show you stuff I do usually on a day-to-day -day basis. Now before I show you clips of me doing these, keep your eyes on the top right of the video. It's going to show you a decibel meter. A decibel meter just measures the decibels or the sound intensity of different items I'm doing. And just keep your eyes on that. There's probably three things I do every day that are pretty loud. One would be taking the wheels off a car. Second would be putting the wheels back on the car. There will be mounting and balanced tires onto wheels. So every now and then I get an older car in the shop and because we live in Canada and there's a lot of salt on the road in the winters there's a lot of rust under those cars, and bolts tend to break or get seized. It's not fun. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that was pretty loud. Considering a regular conversation is around 60 decibels. We'll see my doctor explain the science behind it. I have this diagram of the ear right here that actually shows you where um, this damage can be located look here at the hair cells located in the ear. So these hair cells inside your ear are responsible for churning sound waves into neural signals for your brain. So think of hair cells as a grass and loud sound waves as a foot. If you step on grass a few times it will bounce back up but over a period of time it will become damaged and not as it did before. Unfortunately the damage done to hair cells cannot be reversed. You know what's also interesting? Headphones can cause a similar damage that your impact guns at work cause you. So headphones can be as loud as 100 decibels, and like I mentioned before, anything over 85 decibels is pretty damaging to your ears. So it is important to prevent further damage, and I can show you a few ways that we can protect your hearing and allow you to work safely in your workplace. So to prevent any further damage, my doctor recommended I wear some sound protective items like could be earplugs, earmuffs, just anything of that sort. To all my followers, take my advice. Wear, wear hearing protection, don't take this for granted. You know, when your boss tells you to wear hearing protection, safety glasses, just do it. It'll help you in the long term. Now, we'll see you on the next video, guys.